Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. What we're going to have a look at today is Encyclopedia of Armour. This is volume three on camouflages from ammo. Okay, so let's have a look through. So this is volume three of modeling techniques. And just a recap, let's have a look inside the back cover. Volume one was construction, two is interiors and base color, four is going to be weathering, fine final touches. So um, first thing I had to do was work out exactly what camouflages means. Basically, it's, um, yeah, as it says, camouflages, but also what happens to the paint itself. So it's things like paint chipping, winter washes, desert washes, paint fading, um, basically, whatever happens to the to the paint itself uh, as against weathering which i presume is going to be things that um, should say exterior influences like dust dirt grime mud and all that sort of stuff so coming in there's it's all on um, glossy color paper obviously very nice an introduction dedication and this is what it's about chapter seven chapter eight obviously out of the five volume um set. Um, materials and references for camouflage, multicolour schemes, chipped paint, filters, washes and oils, winter camouflage, desert camouflage, primer colour and bare metal finishes, and then a couple of a few pages on the light techniques and black and white technique. So I shall jump through this a bit. Start with and then there's this is obviously chapters, I'd call it chapter seven. Starts off with references tools and materials that you you might want to use um, camouflage painting references multicolor schemes hard edge camouflages uh, with a brush and then coming on uh, with using masks and airbrushes semi hard edge camouflages soft edge camouflages so stripes and mottling. So basically every variation of this is in here somewhere. And then we are mottling. Chipped paint using chipping fluids. Chipping effects with chipping products. And then where are we? Other chipping techniques. Basically, it goes through. Um, obviously, this book is produced by by uh, by Ammo, so there's a lot of their products in it. But it doesn't stick with just their products. There's other products in here as well. So the brush painted chipping, and then we go on to chipping with a sponge, and then kind of scratches and pitting. Then we're into filters, washes, and oils. Now we've basically got the paint down. Now we're sort of doing the uh, what are the changes, the natural changes in colour to a paint that happen over its life. So filters, washes, and oils, bringing out details as well. So start off with filters. Um, there's different types of filters used for different colour camouflages. Washes, how to do all those. Um, how to do them on different on multicolored uh, vehicles. I'll use uh, where should we say a dark brown wash will be good for say the green but not so good for like a, a tan color. Then the use of oils including um, the new oil brusher uh, series. There's the oil dot technique. Highlights shadows and enhancing 3D appearances. Paint fading. Um, then on to winter camouflage. So there's a uh, a few here, chipped whitewash, and they go through a few vehicles for each one. So there's one chipped whitewash with a tiger. Here's another one with a T34, uh, washed out whitewash on a Panzer IV, and another one on a, a T34. And then desert camouflage. Uh, lightly weathered desert camouflages, chipped desert camouflage, and 
Now we come down. We makeshift desert camouflages. Um, this is the sort of thing where basically somebody got a um, say a, a tin of pigment and just mixed it with oil and dirt and stuck it on the side of the vehicle rather than a, something that was actually uh, a paint. So some of those primer color and bare metal finishes, primer colors, how to play with, how to work with those. And then we get into bare metal surfaces, um, such as down here, how to replicate all those. Then we get into advanced techniques, the light and black and white. Start off with light techniques. Um, there's zenith light, um, basically painting as though there's a, there's a light overhead the vehicle or at one side. Color modulation is covered. Illumination by panels, spotlight technique, and then onto the black and white technique. And some information on that and how to use that. So overall, um, anything to do with getting the camouflage on your vehicle is covered in here, usually with more than uh, one example of it and some different ways to do it as well. Um, so basically, if, uh, if you want to know where to start on something, you, c you can basically just pick this book up and just read through this, work out what it is you need to do, and you know exactly um, which order to do things in and which uh, products and tools to use. So it's a pretty awesome book for camouflages. And uh, I bought my copy from um, their website. It's cheaper if you, if you want. If you're thinking you want to get all five, it's cheaper to buy them as a subscription. I think the first the first three are out already out, but four and five are yet to come.